Hi, today I thought I'd give you a look at a little MATLAB script that I wrote. The purpose of this program is to give you the RGB values and the hex values from a screenshot of a colour. Here, let me run it so you can see what it does. So on the left we have the input image and on the right we have a reconstruction of the image based on the RGB values that it extracted. I wrote this program because I'm designing a graphical user interface that needs to match the theme of the company. So they provided me with pictures of the company colours but not the hex or RGB values. I need a string representation of the hex values in order to design the GUI. I thought I'd share this because it demonstrates how we can use programming to solve practical problems. I'll walk you through the code. First we import the image. MATLAB stores an image as a multi-layered array with each layer corresponding to an R, a G or a B value and each cell in the array corresponds to a pixel in the image. So here I'm creating a vector with three values, the first for R, the second for G and the third for B. We take the median value from the R layer of the imported image, then the median value from the G layer, then the median value from the B layer. I decided to take the median value to account for the user not taking a screenshot of only the colour that they want. Another way to do it would be to take the average value from each layer, but if the user messes up the screenshot, the colour will be slightly off. Here's an example to show what I mean. This screenshot is of the folder icon. We can see that there's a lot of slightly different shades of yellow there. By using median, we get the most prominent colour in the screenshot, which is this yellow. If we used average, we'd get the average of all the colours, which wouldn't quite match any one of them. Then I use the int to string function to convert the RGB values to a string and string cat function to join the string. Then we do the same with a deck to hex function to make the hex string. So now we have a vector with the median RGB values of the input image, a string that says RGB equals then gives us the three values and a string that says hex equals hash then the RGB values converted to hex. Next we create three new arrays and initialize them to zero. These arrays need to have the same dimensions because we're going to join them into a multi-layered array that will be the new image. It's important to use this like input image part because this formats the arrays to be the uint8 type instead of double. uint8 lets us treat the array as an image. Then we set the value of every cell on each layer to match the R, G or B value. Then we add these three layers together into a new multi-layer array. Then finally we display the output images and strings so that we can compare it to the input and verify that it's given us the correct RGB and hex values. Let's do one more. Let's find the RGB and hex values of the red from the YouTube logo. RGB equals 234, 50, 35, which is about what we'd expect since it's a very red color. And hex equals EA3223. Okay, that's the end of the demonstration. See you later.